Protesters chanting outside the Colorado State Capitol today, part of the nationwide shockwave wave rather over the leaked draft of a ruling indicating the U.S. Supreme Court might be planning to overturn Roe versus Wade. Any Supreme Court decision would mean women in Colorado's neighboring states could be denied abortion services. They might come here for care. And overturning Roe v. Wade would also reignite the debate in state legislatures over access to abortion. Colorado recently passed a law protecting abortion rights here. We have team coverage for you at five. Our Michaela White will show us the potential implications on getting care in Colorado. And CBS 4's Kelly Worthman with reaction to that leaked draft of the high court's ruling. But first, Jim, the latest on what is now an investigation at the U.S. Supreme Court. Chief Justice John Roberts vowed to investigate the leaked 98-page draft to Politico in an unprecedented letter saying to the extent this betrayal of the confidences of the court was intended to undermine the integrity of our operations, it will not succeed. It is not clear where Justice Roberts stands on this issue. The leak has other lawmakers calling for an investigation as well. And President Biden says if the draft opinion stands, it would be a radical decision. The rationale of the decision as released were to be sustained. A whole range of rights are in question. This lawless action should be investigated and punished to the fullest extent possible. Now, if the court does change course, abortion would be decided on a state-by-state -state basis. 23 states currently have laws on the books that could be used to restrict abortion rights if Roe v. Wade fails. Colorado, one of 16 states with laws protecting abortion rights. Many of our neighboring states would have restrictions. Michaelia White working on this story for you tonight and the potential impact here in Colorado. Michaelia. Right, so Karen, in a statement, Planned Parenthood said its doors will remain open. Other providers are preparing too. And if this decision goes through, it means Colorado would be an island for reproductive rights in our region. The most empowering thing a person can have is the ability to decide. Confidence Omani is a board member of the Colorado Doula Project, a nonprofit that gives abortion support and advocacy. We provide abortion access for all, um, whether it be medical abortions, uh, transportation to a procedure, lodging while you're in Colorado. I wanted to be available because most of our clients are women of color. Omani tells me involvement in this project is deeply personal for her. I was 14 years old when I went to a party, I was having a good time and I drank a beer that was already open. I did not know what was in it and I was drugged and I was raped. She found out she was pregnant 17 weeks later. In the state of Oklahoma, I was 17 weeks, and in 1993, they would not allow me to have an abortion at that stage. So I had to be taken to a clinic in Overland Park, Kansas. Just last month, Governor Jared Polis signed the Reproductive Health Equity Act into law, and the recent move is significant because states all around Colorado have trigger bans in place, meaning abortion will almost immediately be banned if Roe is no longer in effect. And if it falls, it could mean an influx in people coming here to receive services, something Omani says organizations like hers will be prepared for. We are holding the line for every state that says no, Colorado is holding the line. Roe v. Wade may fall, but we cannot. And I talked with other clinics in the Denver metro and the Boulder area. They all said that they are preparing for a potential influx in patients. For now, we are live in Denver. Michaelia White covering Colorado first.